Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Daily Dose. We are kicking it off with a little bit of Battle Knights action. For the OGs that like to watch some Battle Knights, well, today we are going to be covering the Death Cemetery. Uh, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of this is, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, you know, 14 days, 16 hours, so it's a 15-day event. Uh, I read through the instructions a couple of times. Honestly, it's... Read through this on your own leisure. I'm not going to go through all of it. It is a long-ass text. What I will say is... It's server-based, it's based off uh, damage, and essentially, you kind of have to do, like, all of the numbered coffins, if that makes sense. So, at the moment, we've got one all the way through, eight unlocked. Uh, once we clear all of that, then we'll unlock the inner ring, which is 19 all the way through to nine. Once we clear that, then we'll get the second inner ring, so this will be the third ring, basically, 20, 21, 22, all the way to 24. And then we get the final ring, which is like the boss zone where essentially you bash the boss. He can't die, but the person with the highest damage gets ranked and we get additional rewards when all this shit show is over. Now, in order to fight these guys, you need flashlights. Uh, they're not hard. You can skip them. Um, I'm sure they get harder later on. All things relative, uh, you get one of these every single time, and these ones vary depending on your damage. At around 20 million damage, I seem to average about 116. Every single time seems to be well, 116, 117. Um, I mean, it's just a lot of clicking. <laughs> Essentially, you're going to be able to get about, oh, I want to say... 11 minimum a day maximum you can get like what 22 i don't think anyone's rng is that fantastic but yeah basically you're gonna get torches by doing your daily uh packages as i probably already hinted you get these ones you pull them out you get torches you go over here to your death cemetery and you, you sort of just plot along so as you can see there's heaps of stages um 16 is the last stage uh, but each of the coffins require essentially people to bash them all up. Um, it's It really is a server-wide event. So if you're in a, a server that's sleeping, then uh, I'd say you're probably not going to have as much fun <laughs> as other players. Uh, for what I can see anyway, it doesn't look like it's um, good. Uh, because you want to get to the middle ring, which is the boss stage, like stage four, and then you want to fight the boss and get some additional rewards. But if I'm like, if I'm sussing this out, basically you're going to get like 20 of these gold statues. Um, let's be honest, you're probably not going to get 20. You're probably going to get like 12 to 15, if you're lucky, of these gold statues a day. Because you can only get gold statues when you fight these guys. That's pretty much it. Guaranteed epic statue. No other way to get epics except for spending money. Um, and that's, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. We'll cover some of that in a second. I just want to finish this off. I've already finished it. One last one. All right. But as you can see, you, you know, like it, it's going to take a while for players to chip away at it. Um, hopefully most of the players on your server are... Uh, over like 9 million power level like we are. So I don't know where we ranked in there. I ranked 10th. So what do we do? I did like 361 million. Uh, the dudes at the top obviously are doing like 1.2 billion. Um, as you can see from stage one all the way up, the HP is pretty low. Uh, it's like 557 million. So, you know, two people can kind of clear that. And then the last stage at 16 is that whopping 2.787 billion. And it kind of repeats itself from all... It literally repeats itself all the way around. So you do need to clear each ring um, and you will get some additional points. Now the handbook is dependent on total number of zones occupied. Uh, we haven't occupied one zone yet. So 
we need to kill that guy. Why would you kick me out? That is not that is counterintuitive. You basically need to occupy zone one by defeating everyone, then zone two, yada yada yada. Then you get the corresponding rewards, which is more of the same stuff like flashlights and some reward chests. I don't think there's probably going to be anything um super duper cool in there. If you want to buy the premium packages, it's going to cost you $23 Australian, which is about $15 American. Um, I would probably wait until the last day to figure out whether or not there's value in buying that, just because depending on where your server ends, you probably nobody want to be paying $23 to get uh, six <laughs> perfect tire <high> summons. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, sorry, six senior eyes, not even freaking perfect eyes. I mean... Yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, the rare Moe's, as you can probably tell, are probably the easiest form to get. What do we got at the moment? We got 2K. Um, basically, I would say buy these ones first. You're going to buy three naturally. Buy these ones. Buy some of the 10 bombs. Um, that's actually pretty good value. Uh, 10 bombs for 1,000. So you can get 50 of the arcade coins. I'd snag those out. Maybe I'd snag a couple of bullets, depending on where we're at within the bounty event. Um, there's some cool resources. Not, I'm not going to lie. That's that's pretty good. I'll take any and all of that that I can get. Um, but basically, this is where you hit the pay-to-win territory. I'm sure some of this stuff will be accessible, depending on how, um, how many lights you can RNG out of the game. Uh, let's be honest, though. You probably would, you're probably going to get 200 to 250 for free. I haven't done the maths. Honestly, uh, if you want to do the maths, jump into the official Discord. There's a guy called Engine in there, uh, and he will do all the math for you. <laughs> when I figure it out, I'll obviously do an update video. I mean, look, copies of Samuel, that's pretty sweet. Um, copies of Raph, pretty sweet as well. Is Raphael even in here? He is, but he's like premium, so he's like 300. Freaking hell, man. Uh, but then again, you do get some of these stuff here. So this could be a juicy way to upgrade some of your um, your elites in terms of exclusive weapon chests. This is the newest one for Beckinsale, Baymon, Legolas, and Vida, as well as Sone. So that's pretty cool that that chest is there. Uh you know, I'm not going to lie. I mean, if you can reach 275, I wouldn't hesitate snagging out one of those uh, weapons for uh, my Wrath. I'm uh, not, not going to... Yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, but, well, <laughs> it's not good if it costs me money, but it's not terrible if it doesn't cost me money, which kind of brings me to the supply chain here. Like, the cheapest offer is the $8 Australian, which is about 5 USD. Look, you get 20 searchlights, which... We all know one searchlight gives you one of the totems. I think we've probably established that by now. By one of the totems, I mean one of the uh, gold totems up here. And so basically, you're going to get an extra 10 of them um, and some 20. So, like, what's that? So, you can get 30 gold totems in total. And, of course, some currency of the uh, rare variety, the rare Maui statues. So, it's not, not terrible value. Um... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Obviously, we do have the corresponding bounty event. Um, Beck's weapons are interesting. This one essentially is for her if she has low sustain, so she heals herself or has a 50% chance to. She puts in an extra layer of the blades. If you don't know her yet, check her out in the index. Essentially, she needs to do uh, blade marks in order to do damage. Then she takes them all away and starts from scratch. But yeah, this one's the offensive version, her offhand. And this is the defensive supportive version, her main hand. Um, depends on your play style. If she's dying, probably go the first one. If she's just staying alive and you just want to do more damage, go her offhand. Interesting to note, there is, of course, the blueprint option box. Fantastic. Mr. Len, Sayang, Wasili, Namuria, Raphael, and Gilbert are available there. Uh, can't complain. If you're going to do the event and you don't want to build Bex weapons, then you do have options, which is very nice. In terms of the value here, make sure you suss out how many bullets you're going to need. 
Uh, this is probably one of the better ones in my opinion. 40 bullets and some badges. Not too bad. Uh, of course, look, I always say stay, stay clear of these. The handcuffs make it a little bit more enticing, but the reality is, uh, if you're doing this, you're probably whaling anyway, so what are, what are the 35 additional handcuffs really going to get you? I'd say only do it if you are realistically trying to get Beckinsale's both main off main hand and offhand all at once, and you can't do it, well, basically, you're going to have to spend some money. Uh, if you run out of bullets and badges, you're going to have to do it if that's your plan. In terms of this last last bit, uh, if you are still summoning and building her, of course, there's a chance to acquire uh, Becky and old mate Charlotte, the booty queen, and she is in the bees club. So the percentage up rate is still available for another 13 days. Uh, I mean, look, it's entirely up to you if you want to pull the trigger and chase that. Um, honestly, I'd always say wait for a perfect tire event, but you know, some people just want to gamble. Uh, it is entirely up to you, depending on uh, what circumstances you're at. As you can see, I have no position to gamble at this point. Need to keep saving up for the next hero that I want to build. Hopefully, it's going to be along the lines of a... Well, what's... For this account, I'm hoping the next hero is going to be... I want to say Fallen. I want to say Fallen might not be a terrible idea. I wouldn't mind, um, well, Mistelin's pretty OP, but I do need Wasili. I want to build Wasili. Of course, I've got two of him. Uh, I want to build old mate Waz and see if we can go from there. If you don't know how to finish the Belty event or how to acquire any of the things that you need, um, basically, you just need to get purples, purples and, um, blues you get handcuffs from there make sure you're logging in every eight hours you can re-roll for bullets and of course you can re-roll for uh shields once you complete the tasks it just depends i mean if you want to chase it just be aware it's very very expensive honestly i go until i can acquire the free perfect tires uh in terms of rewards uh if i'm not trying to build that, you know, corresponding heroes' weapons. I just go for perfect tires. Um, and yeah, you know, it's a fairly, I guess, self-explanatory slash intuitive event. You're going to get some free seniors. Um, and what can I say? In the bounty shop, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And there you go. You get some perfect tires. They're 12 and you can max them out. You get four. You get some seniors. You get some arcade coins. If you really want to, you can get some purple heroes. Um why is it saying that? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so we got those ones. Charlotte, of course, is on the wheel. Actually, she, yeah, so Charlotte copies at 30 purples if you really need her. Maybe you need to hunt her down, which is fine. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but while we're here, let's see what we can get from the perfect fragments. Ooh, Westerly, you piece of poo, go away. Ooh, Christina, come on game. Don't do me like that. Hey, we got a Kratos. Very nice. So you can get some elites in the purple shards, but like, let's be honest, most of the time you're just going to get food. Uh, every now and then though, you can pull out a Samuel. Uh, it has been known to happen on this channel. Is that actually enough for me to build Kratos? I'm thinking it is not. I've only got one purple Kratos. Do I have any blues? My goodness, the scrolling forever. Hey, I got some blue Kratos. Maybe we can actually make a legendary Kratos. Oh. Anyway, I think I'll leave it there. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you thinking this is free to play friendly? My answer is no. Uh, it is heavily dependent on your server being able to be A, active and B, participating and C strong <laughs> so I'm very very curious to see where people are going to land in this event um, but stay tuned I'm sure we'll be covering it throughout the week and I can hit you up with some statistics later on anyway thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one